Hi everyone, I'm Elijah. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Birds of a Feather. It sounds just like this. All right, for this first part, I'm going to break down for you the intro and verse one. We're playing in the key of D. And we're going to start the song playing this melody line on the right hand. So I have D followed by A. Then I'm going to play D C sharp and finish with A, C sharp. So D, A, D, C sharp, A, C sharp. Then from here, simply repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And also, what I'm going to do for the intro and for the first part of verse 1 is play this melody line legato. So without using the sustain pedal, I'm going to sustain with my hand each note as long as possible before going to the next. So playing this way. Okay, so we have this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And so that's for the intro. Then we have verse one, and that's when we're going to introduce the chords on our left hand. So the first chord is D major seven, playing D, A, and C sharp. Then we have B minor at 9, playing B, F sharp, and C sharp. After that, we're moving up with E minor 7, playing E, G, and D. Followed by A7, sus 4. So we have now E, G, A, and D. And then we're going to finish with a simple A7 chord, playing E, G, A, and C sharp. So that's for the chords we're going to use. So we're still going to play the melody line on the right hand. And for the first part of the verse, like I said, we're going to play the melody line legato because on the left, we're going to play and break each chord. So we're going to play D major seven for two measures, play and break, then B minor nine for two measures, B minor at nine, E minor seven for two measures, play and break. And then you have A seven sus four for one measure, play and break, and then A7 for the other measure, and also here, play and break. So, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, Three, then switch, one, two, three, four. 
Okay, so that's one part of the verse. Now let's add the melody line on the right hand. We have this. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Okay, that's one part. For the other part, we're now going to use the sustain pedal. So we no longer have to play legato on our right hand. We have this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Also notice that I'm sustaining the chords on the left now. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So on and so forth. So let's play with the right. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. And that's first one. Let's replay it slow tempo from the top. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Okay, let's recap. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.